We had some fireworks this morning, Buck, uh, when uh, we had Vivek Ramaswamy, who is running for President of the United States. He went on CNN with Don Lemon, um, and they got into a debate about whether black people had true freedoms in the United States. And I just thought that a lot of you would enjoy this fireworks as it were let's listen to cut 18 this is this morning on cnn you're making people think that the civil war was fought for black people only for black people to get guns and for black people to the have, civil war was fought for rights. black people in this country to get freedoms a noble mission and i think that it, even yes, after right. even but after we succeeded to, to we had to actually secure those freedoms it, to reduce it in a speech at the nra to say you're making people think are you trying to say that black people uh, to get guns? That was that, that was the reason that you're there at the NRA. That was the reason for uh, for the Civil War. It I is think a that's fact. Reductive. It's not and reductive. I think it's Don. insulting. There are a whole plethora insu- of reasons that I, for look, the Civil with War, with due respect, I find I find your explanation reductive and actually insulting, including to Black Americans to say that Black people today, compared to 1964, 1865, haven't made progress in part because of the freedoms we secured. All right, and then it continued. Uh, Don Lemon lost his cool a little bit as the interview played out all live on CNN this morning. Let's listen to Cut 19. And you are sitting here telling an African-American about the rights and what you find insulting, about the, the, the way I live, the skin I live in every day. Here's and where I you and I have the a different point of view. the freedoms that black and white, that black people don't have in this he, country here, and that black people do have. Well, here's country. where you and I have a different point of view. I think we should be able to express our views regardless of the color of our skin. We should have this debate I'm not saying you without me regarding views, you as a black man, but me regarding you as a Fellow citizen, that you're That's sitting what I think here, whatever ethnicity you are, explaining to me whatever ethnicity about I'm, I'll what tell it's you. like to be black. Whatever America. ethnicity I'm, I'm I'll tell you what I am. I'm an Indian American. I'm proud of it. But I think we should have this debate. Black, white, doesn't matter. I think we should have this on debate. The content but I think should, of the if ideas. You're do it. You should do it in an honest way and in a I fair think, way. And what you're doing is not an honest and fair way. I love Ooh. Vivek <laughs> holding his ground here. What about whatever ethnicity you are, from Don Lemon? Totally just getting so, so sort of smarmy and, and nasty for no reason, right? But this is what cable news used to be. I just, I, I know I get nostalgic about this, but if you were going to be a big host, I mean, th- think about it, right? Sean's got the biggest radio show, you know, he's at three to six across the country. He's an amazing TV host, whatever. Sean used to have people on handing in combs and still has them on today, but would debate people. You think about some of these great... Bill O'Reilly used to have people on. Oh, they'd get in screaming matches. I mean, it was throwdown time is what I'm saying. Even Tucker on CNN with Crossfire. That was the entire concept of the show, right? Was left versus right, let's debate. This is... So so this whole world of political commentary used to have this foundation of, if you were going to say some stuff, you'd, you know, you'd have to throw it in. Look, if Rachel Maddow wanted to come on this show... We would let her on the show. And people say, oh, why won't you have, I'm not going to have like some, you know, some troll that has, uh, you know, 200 Twitter followers come on and yell at us, right? Like, that's not fair because we've worked to create a platform and we want to make the best usage of the time of this audience. But if somebody of of a stature that it's worth the time for us to do, they want to debate, uh, debate, we'd love to do it. None of them will do it. None of them will do it. And this is why you see why. You know, Don Lemon's getting paid, I don't know, five, ten million dollars a year, something like that, to do what he does at CNN. And Vivek goes on there and he Don is just getting upset. He can't even Vivek keeps saying, let's have a real debate. Let's have a real exchange of ideas. The Democrats that are on TV no longer can do this anymore. They can only do the preaching to the choir stuff. Yeah. And I also think the conversation you guys heard it. Um but the idea that you can't talk about issues facing black America if you're not black, is where identity politics lead you, right? I mean, Don Lemon didn't have an actual argument. His argument was just, I'm black, and so you can't tell me about issues relating to black people in this country because you haven't lived as a black man, which led to what I thought was a pretty insulting, I don't even know what ethnicity you are, basically, and I'm paraphrasing Don Lemon here, This idea that you can't examine data and facts and analysis and come up with solutions and ideas and debates unless you are a member of a particular ethnic group is particularly toxic because it doesn't lead to any change. It's really just a it's a a fallacy um, in our politics now that you can only speak about things. You know, my I've never killed anybody. Does that mean I can't have an opinion on murder? I mean, this can get really ridiculous really fast it should be about reason and argument 
And my point, just in talking about some of the, you know, the big conservative names that are that are still in the game, or some of them maybe have retired now, or whatever, um, they would still. I mean, if there were still this expectation, I think a lot of us, we would certainly do it. A lot of others would have high level debates with Democrats. I mean, does Don look? I don't know. Would we have? I I think we would debate Don Lemon on. I would debate Don Lemon on some stuff. He's a big enough uh, platform. If I weren't restricted from being able to go on CNN because I'm Fox News employee. First of all, they banned me for life for saying I believe in the First Amendment and boobs, so they would have to rescind their banning. I would go on CNN and debate anything with Don Lemon. I just had, I mean, one of the things that I've gotten the most favorable response for that I've done in the last several months, I went on with Stephen A. Smith. We have a lot of different opinions in the world of sports. He had me on as a guest on his podcast. Um, I, I, I agree with you. I, I think the idea of confronting and debating face-to-face for things that you disagree with is we're the worst for it. Now, I also think what you see is, by and large, the left-wingers will not actually debate, right? Because that's why Don Lemon was so bad. It was just, hey, I'm a black man. You can't have an opinion different than me because you're not black. That's his entire argument, basically. And he got angry that Vivek seemed to stand up to it. To say what also, like, think about if it's not Don Lemon who says to a guest, whatever race you are like it kind of sneered at him it was a very weird comment to make can we play that one more time because sometimes i know when the audio the the second cut because sometimes you're, you're not really expecting what you get i think you're right 19 can we can we play don lemon losing his cool and and to your point i think that's definitely what he does sneers at him about whatever ethnicity he is Well, here's where you and I have a different point of view. I think we should be able to express our views regardless of the color of our skin. We should have this debate without me regarding you as a black man, but me regarding you as a fellow citizen. That's what I think we should see. You're sitting here, whatever ethnicity you are, explaining to me about what it's like to be black. Whatever ethnicity I am, I'll tell you what I am. I'm an Indian American. I'm proud of it. But I think we should have this debate. Black, white, doesn't matter. Can I just say also? I mean, I mean, I you know, look, my my brother-in-law is is an is Indian American by background, but I mean. Vivek, like people, you know, Don Lemon is a TV host. Like, I think he knows what Vivek's background is, which is why it wasn't like a con. It's not like Vivek is, you know, half, half Thai, half Bolivian or something. And you couldn't really like, he knew exactly what he was, but he just took a weird shot at him. Oh, well, also to your point, again, this is black privilege, right? This is the world that Democrats have created and identity politics, oppression Olympics. Don Lemon can say whatever ethnicity you are. He has two white co-hosts. If one of them had said that, then it would be like a racial uh, explosion. Now, maybe not because they're liberal. And if you're left wing and you're talking to a conservative, you can be racist, right? I mean, we've seen this with Clarence Thomas for years and years. You can denigrate him as an Uncle Tom in a way that is permissible. So maybe they get away with it because he's a Republican. But... If Vivek was a Democrat and a white person on CNN talked to him like that, there would be an all points bill bulletin out. And God forbid if a Fox News host did that uh, to him to cut him off and say that his opinion wasn't worthy of discussion. I, you know, I, I just I wish that uh, there was something like a a Bill Maher show that was a little bit more fair and a little bit on the right. You know, where we could get people from where where people on the left would just be like, you know what. I got to go into there and I, I got to be willing to throw down and, and, and fight on these issues. Uh, I just think that there's a, I think there's a space where look, Bill Moore sometimes ha- I've done it. They have, they have, they've got, I think um, Doug Murray, who's a brilliant guy. Uh, he's going to be on soon. So they have, they're, they're starting to in the post COVID era, the post, well, not really post Trump, but as we know, uh, they've started to do it, but I just think that uh, more debate would be better. And, and uh, the, you know, consumers have to demand this stuff, man, wouldn't it be, they wouldn't it be fun. We could do it old school, like college style tag team. You know, it's like, all right, I'll take the opening. You take the cross. And by the way, I think there is a desperate demand for that right now in America because you have so many people in their echo chambers. And really what it does, Buck, is and I think you see this particularly on the left. It makes your arguments really weak because you're not ever having to refine them. We talked about this earlier in the week. Most people on the left have no idea what people on the right think. People on the right, by and large, it's impossible to avoid what people on the left think because they have so much control over so much of culture. And as a result, people on the left who get into debates get carved up pretty quickly because their ideas are weak, fragile, untested, 
and frankly, they haven't had to be able to to, to make a, a case for them. This is why it has just disappeared. This is why you know you can't have these um, because the left won't debate. That's why we don't have debate shows. That's why we don't have these exchanges anymore. That's why I was like, oh wow, Vivek and, and Don. By the way, CNN could make things interesting over there if they were willing to do more of it. 